Well, after crying and crying and crying, I, uh, I finally got one. <clears throat> I got what I wanted, I should say, instead of that cheap piece of crap they put uh, in the buckets. And I got everybody else one too, so I'm pretty proud. But uh, this is a uh, ram mount, no drill, laptop mount. And uh, one thing I like about it is how close in front it can get. You see, it's you can it goes even farther, but it's touching the steering wheel. You can get it right, keep you from having to turn your back, um, and really barely even turn your neck um, to do stuff on it. Uh, uh, let's see. It's, uh, I gotta. I'll show you all the. There's the one joint and then the other joint, but you can raise this up too. But what I like about it is, not only that, but you can loosen this stuff up. And you can work from the passenger side because we when we, you park on the side of the road you're you might need to be in might be in traffic you might need to pull it over to the passenger side go over there and show you yeah right at the passenger side so you don't have to jump over anything or just kind of twist the thing you know and push it on over no problem and if we had path track of course it wouldn't be such a big deal to, to have it do that I guess but I don't know if we're ever going to get that. On our meters, that is. But underneath, it's a spring-loaded mechanism. But it's just a ball joint where you can twist, unloosen that, and it, it'll move any way you want it. Sturdy. That. There it is. This around. And the base. There's the base. Just you take the existing bolts out of the seat rails. This one was a, was a, a uh, hard one to get back in. I should have had the knuckle um, socket, but I didn't have one. But I wound up getting it with an open end, a short open or a closed end actually. Um, it took forever because the bolts they they give with it aren't. Uh, don't have a tapered end on them and the ones that come out are tapered in so it takes forever to get them to thread back in there right but once you get them in there it, everything's you know every, everything's cool so and it comes in a million pieces so you gotta put everything back together and the directions are, are very vague I have to say I had to kind of look at the picture there's not not very in-depth instructions but uh, if you're halfway uh, mechanical mechanically inclined you can kind of put two and two together get it up but there it is I'm very proud it makes a world of difference after just having it sit over here in the seat since I've had the truck here and I uh, would be amiss if I didn't mention the uh, the hard hat rack racks that I have thanks to scary good some bitch is scary scary good but you'll notice it's just feeder <laughs> it's just some 500 feeder uh, that I got wrapped around and stuff so yeah just, just looped it around like that it sits in there I had to kind of come out and loop these out a little bit the edges to keep it where I wanted it but man isn't that beautiful isn't that pretty good man there you go. Ram, no drill. Laptop mount. The only thing that might uh, not sit well with some is that you can't close it all the way. It's not a big deal for me. I just need to be able to see out the window. And you can swing it out of the way like that, right? But. Uh, the uh, mounts keep it unless you put them all the way up here you might be able to close you still not gonna be able to close it all the way though you know 
because they're so they're kind of big but um, the same old thing but I guess you know you get you, you give and you take you know I guess take the good with the bad so but I don't know I just all you gotta do is that push that what you get get to all your center console there